did a, a, a show with this guy in uh, this group in Detroit. And I would come out and do my act. People would like to you off the stage. He would come out, and just before he'd come out, the announcer or the host of the show would announce and they'd say, well, coming up next is too short. And all the girls want to in front of the stage. All the girls. Too short would then come out to start his act. He then commenced to start his act. Well, you bitch, you tramp, you hoe, you slut, you this, you that. All the girls would go, we love you too short. We love your music. We love you. Sleep technique number one. What happened to the minds of the young ladies in these shows or men in these shows? The question here is not about the group. We cannot point the finger at the group and say, well, that group's music is bad, or this group's music is bad, or Ice Cube is bad, and NWA is bad, and this, that, and the other. No. Groups mean nothing here. We are going to ask this question today. Who taught the masses of the people to respect sex and violence? Who are the teachers of these explicit lyricists? 